Good morning, Rabbi Boisai. Ah, really, this must be very serious. Must Mordechai. Hayoyim Shmuel Ushleishim Yoyim Shem Chamisha Shavuos Ushleisha Yomim Ba Oimer Lo Oimer. Boisai, check this out. All over New York, those are the uh, posters for the upcoming shiurim tomorrow night. After the second, tomorrow morning is a shear on one daf. Tomorrow evening, another shear. Uh, usually 5.30. <laughs> and then come these amazing shiurim. Not that the shiurim are going to be good. The people, the amazing amount of people and the camaraderie and the achdos. And it's an opportunity to bring your friends. If you're in New York, five possibilities. So, starting with Brooklyn. Here, here's the list here. Ateres Golda. I forgot the, the owner's name. He gave us the hall for free. And not only did he give us the hall for free, he's giving us the food for free. That's amazing. So you should go after him. I said his name before, but I forgot his name. I'm very bad with names. So that's... Uh, on Wednesday, May 17th, 8 o'clock. And I will be there probably an hour before to meet and greet people. Not going to happen, you're saying, huh? Yeah. Muncie, 8 o'clock at the Crown Plaza Ballroom. Also, I'll try to be there an hour before. Queens, I'm not going to be there an hour before because it's Friday, 2.30 on Friday, May 19th at YCQ. You should go out to Rabbi Kessler. That's really Kessler. The Five Towns is Motzei Shabbos at 11 p.m. The latest shear that we ever had, 11 p.m. at the White Shul. You all know where that is. And Lakewood, we might have to change the time for Lakewood because I'm realizing that Lakewood is 5.30. It's the middle of Seder. And if an Avrech or a Bacha wants to come, it might be a problem. So, okay, we'll figure that one out. Anyway, bring your friends. Register, so it makes it easier to get in. It's free, but... It's, uh, you have to register. No, 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 no cost. And also, okay. Rabo Isai, here's the, here's the actual poster. Now, there are some... Oh, Reb Noyam is here. I missed you. The program book is still available. It's, there's going to be, I forgot how many copies, but thousands of copies. The logo, the whole thing is available for $5,000 to sponsor. And here's a bunch of things they could sponsor. Rabo Isai, we have a tremendous um, daft today in terms of... It's a great daf, but also a, a, a lot, a lot of words just to read it. So I am going to basically skip the emails, Leilenu. But I do want to show this picture of the Moifas baby with Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein. And of course, what do you think he named the Moifas baby after? What do you think he named the baby? Correct. Azriel Shalom. Not say, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> and just one little tiny email here, Joshi Hulkauer. Hi, Ravelli. You might know the Manchester and Toronto Chaburas, but oh, you might know them, but we've added Handasa Kravit Chabura. After a long day of Shmirot and drills, a group of us sat, sit down every single day to learn the daf together. We have around five guys, Handasa Kravit, engineering, that we learn the daf with you every day, no matter what went on that day. The message of the Oilam is keep on daffing. The Itzahar will always give us excuses for why we can't skip a day. But we need to remember it's not about the daf, it's about the yoimi. Hoping to see the Eliyahu Mishpacha at the next Siyam in Israel, Be'ezer Hashem, attached to some pictures of us learning after shift in a tank for five days. They're in a tank for five days and they still learn. After one of the guys opened his head, as you can see in the picture, his head is busted open. He has a little band-aid, an Israeli style, army style band-aid on his head. And here they are in the tank after five days. The Koilil. We'll go back. I don't like that. Okay. Bunch of... Uh, you, went, you went to the army, Benny? Koyla <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous from Lakewood. The Masechta. Mr. Eli Stavansky. Where's... Rabbi Nachmatech went to the army. Who else went here? Shh, don't tell people. Avi Gargir, you went to the army? No, you're a cop from New York. What are you, army? What? You are? 1999. Givaldic, okay. You were in Lebanon. 
Elish the fancy leader is Rasmin Achim Toborovich. Min Achim Min, the love of Shemim, the love of Shemim, the love of Did I hear the joke? Do I have to repeat it? It's in 1999, that's the year we lost because Avi Gargir was in the army. Okay, huh? Who? Avi calls everybody Tzioni. He has the right. Parnas Hayoim, Sheldon Coverman, in honor of Elisheva and Dov Goldstein on the birth and bris of Yaakov Kasriel Leib. Second sponsor, Rabbi Zolti, Rabbi Zolti, and the BMF Knight Koilo, a Rafur Shleimah for Shmuel Gershbein. Mendel Learner, the famous Mendel Learner. Another bris, three bris we're talking about. And finally, for the complete refuah and speedy refuah shleima, refuah Chaim Meir ben Sima Chasha, refuah shleima. The art of the month is sponsored for complete refuah for Chaim Tzvi ben Leo. This is not it. Okay. Boys, I were holding Daf Mem Vav Omud. Aleph on the top. So, Ahmed Bayes is basically a and we're going to have sprinkles of a but before we get there, we're going to have to go through some basic sugyas, and we're going to do it on high speed. I don't recommend listening to this shear at 1.75 speed, because it's equal to 4.75, but we got to move. We're in the middle of a sugya of Egla Arufa. If we find a murder victim next to the city, the halacha is that we measure from the murder victim to the closest city, even if we know that that city is the closest city. There's a mitzvah to measure. The mitzvah is done by the Sanhedrin. Machleik is how many? 3, 5, 71. But they measure and they go home. Fine. By the way, in the Egla Rufa, we have four mitzvahs. In each one of these mitzvahs, we make a special bracha. We have the mitzvah we just discussed of medida, of measuring there's Arifa, chopping the head off. There is Rechitzas Hayadayim. And there's the saying of the parasha of Egla Arufa. Each one, you say a bracha, exactly what the bracha is. Al mitzvah Arifa, al Arifas Egla, whatever. Five. So we're holding by the Gemara. Five lines down. So Gemara says like this. But another very interesting thing I saw, that Targum Yonis and Benazil says, that when you kill this cow, if you want to hear it on a like a, more of a, it's also a nace, but more on a physical level, he says that the cow, its meat turns into you know wormy meat. That's what happens to meat, and the those worms find the killer. That's what he says. Interesting. Tiger Yonis says the Gemara hey, mum poisel beegla mikav So we have to remember for this whole sugya, we're gonna have the egla and the para. Egla is Egla Rufa, Para is Para Duma. Both cows, but one is the Egla Rufa, one is the Para Duma. Says the Gemara. If this Egla Arufa has some sort of mum, let's say its eyelid is split, its ear is, is cut, it has a mum, so the Chayra, it shouldn't be a good Egla Arufa. Why? Kavachaymer. Ma Para Sheina Shonim. Paisla is ba, mum Paisla ba. When it comes to the paraduma, there's no limit on how old the paraduma could be. It could be a 25-year-old cow, it's still kosher. Yet, if it has a mum, its eyelid is split, you can't use it as a paraduma. Mum paisaba, egla, shoshona paisaba, the egla, arufa, which could only be a year old or two years old. Rashi brings a sheet of one year old. So you see that we're more machmir, it has to be a certain age. And it didn't, she had mum, paisaba. So, so Egla Rufa, if it has a little mom, we once spoke, like, you know, today, in a lot of places, they take this, uh, they pierce the ear of the, of the cows. They give it a number. They have a tag, you know, number, and th- that piercing passels an animal. It's a mom. So if you have a cow like that, an Egla, less than a year old, but it has a, its ear pierced, it shouldn't be a good Egla. Says the Gemara, no. It's a great Kavachoyim, the problem is, Shani Hassan by Parah Duma, it says, Oh my gosh, you ain't buck. Mum. The mum is only in ba. The mum is specific for a paraduma. Don't use this mum for anything else but the paraduma, so no kavachim will work it. Ba mum pais ba mum mum pais ba go. El meato lo yu shara void is paisles ba. Oh, so 
By a para adum, it says oil. Let's see the positive. Oh, why is that screen off? Somebody could turn that on. It will be very helpful. Leave it. Okay. It says, Okay. Oil, in case you're wondering what oil is, oil is a burden, but oil is literally a yoke. This is what it looks like, a yoke. Okay. The Torah says specifically that it doesn't have a yoke on it. It doesn't talk about anything else but a yoke. Yeah? It didn't pull with a yoke. What about anything else? What about carrying a bunch of sacks on its back? It doesn't say. We're going to get into cloud proud Baruch Hashem today. Yeah. But either way, that's not, let's say the Gemara didn't say, that would not be a good question to ask me. What do I know about cloud prats on a Sunday morning? Yeah. No joke, you mentioned Sunday morning. Last night, cheer was over almost 12 a.m. And I still didn't see this stuff. So you could just imagine 7 o'clock now. No, no, it's fine. You can talk about it. Uh, okay. It's nefesh. No. Guy, no. No. Just, no, I want to be, I want to get the, the Ilo has to know. A guy told me in, in Yerushalayim, real quickly, a guy told me in Yerushalayim that he dropped out of the shir, basically. He's still on and off. But he said, you know, when you're in New York, the background threw me off. So I don't do the share anymore because I'm so used to this background and you go to New York, it's a different background. I'm like, <laughs> you drop, how about me? I have to be in that background myself. Like I have to, with the jet, like with everything. And I still went there and I. No, you don't look at the background. Ah. Okay. So it says like this. By para duma, it says the word all. And we want to learn out other avoidais, other things, other than the yoke, from the Egla Rufa. The problem is that by Egla Rufa, it says the word ba. It's not on that, that, that screen. So Nachamal. Asher lo yubad ba. As you see in this pasuk, ba. Ba means in this Egla Rufa. The, these halachas of other melachas, other avoidas, are said only ba. By Egla Rufa. We just said that if it says the word ba, Said the word ba by paraduma, and that's specific for paraduma. Halacha of mum only applies to paraduma. So the halacha of other work, like carrying sacks and heavy loads, is only said by what? By egla rufa. So how could you learn a kavachaymer from egla rufa? Al mama rav yudom rav. Here, here's the halacha of rav. We have to remember this halacha because we're going to talk about it a bit. If you put a whole bunch of empty sacks on top of the paraduma, it becomes possible. Ube egla, but when it comes to the egla rufa, when does it become possible? Actually, timshuk, it has to pull it. Because it says at the end of the pasuk, look, loy mashcha ba'al. It has to pull the yoke. It has to pull, it has to not just put it on its back, but it has to walk with it. Shani para, the alfinan oil oil me egla. Okay, since we have a straight out gzeri shava, oil oil, and this Gzeri Shavah actually points out is a Mufna, it's the strong type of Gzeri Shavah, you can't ask any questions on it because it's an extra word. That's how I learn other avoidas from Egla Rufa, and you can't ask me any questions that it says Ba, it says this, it says that. Now I have a very, very strong Gzeri Shavah, oil, oil. Egla Nami, it tastes oil, oil, me para. Okay, so once you have Gzeri Shavah going from Paraduma to, or from Egla Rufa to Paraduma, Let's reverse it. Let's go from paraduma to egla rufa. And just like a paraduma, if it has a hole in its ear, it has a mum. It's possible. So too, egla rufa, if it has a hole in its ear, it should be possible. This is Gemara, meet Rahman Abba. But you do have a miot. On that side, I guess it's not mufna. Begla nami iksiv ba. And we buy a muti kachim, the lay ba vaida. So the Gemara says that we have, we take the word ba and we learn a, a beautiful Allah. If I, if I bring a carbon chata, so oil or whatever, but the animal, the, the, the sheep that I, that, I, that, I, that, I, that I brought, somebody wrote it to school. A kid used it. Could I, could I use it as a carbon? The answer is yes. Why is it any different than a, than a paraduma? Because of this word, ba. 
So I should learn it out from Gabba Khamer from the Egla Rufa. The mom doesn't ruin it. But if you use it, you put a, a something on it and you schlep it, it's no good. Catch him. Shimon Pais tells him, a carbon chatos that has a hole in its ear, you can't bring it as a carbon chatos. And it didn't. Shavayda Pais tells him. So certainly, if you use it, you plow a field with this, with the cow or with the sheep, whatever it is, it should pass. And that's why we have the word ba. Says Gemara, you can move Ifrach Malay Eglo. She can't show him Pais ba. Eglo is very chamor because there's a certain limit to the, to the age. It can only be less than a year old. Says Gemara, wait a minute. But catch him also. I'll catch. I'll catch him. He like it. The pasuk be shot him. A current Pesach, current Chathas, could also only be up to a year old. You're right, and that's why you need the word Ba to teach us these Karbanas that do have, they're similar to Egla Rufa, that they are Chamer, they have a certain limit to their age, but Avoida doesn't pass all them. You're telling me that the word Ba comes to say that if there's they were worked in a field or whatever. You can't bring them, that, that you could bring them as a carbon. And how do you know that from the word ba? So now the Gemara goes on to say, we have two other sources that tell us that if any carbon, whatever, you worked it, you could bring it as a carbon. Why do I need three sources? Because there's three types of malachas here. What are the types? What could you come up with? That's why you need a Gemara. It's beautiful. It has all these mumim. It's blind. It has a split eyelid. It has a certain skin diseases. These are the ones that you can't be makriv. From the word Eila, I see that if it's worked in the field, you could bring it. Not from the word Ba, but from the word Eila. Check this out. Here's Avaidah Sisr, very, very posh. If you take a shar and a chamar and you put them together in a yoke and you plow the field, they did a Avaidah Sisr. So I would think that when could you bring this shar, the one on the right, when could you bring it as a carbon when you, you put a bunch of heavy stuff on its back? Avaidah this Heter. But when you did this, you put it together with a chamar, a Isidar Raisa. So maybe you can't bring it as a carbon. So that's why I need another positive to say you could bring it as a carbon. Or you work, Rashi says you worked it on Shabbos. Another positive, that, that if a guy brings a carbon that has a mum, you don't accept it. Another source that if it has, if Kachim, you worked it, you're allowed to bring it as a carbon. It's real. There's another type. You did the Avaidah when you were allowed to do the Avaidah. What if you already designated it as a carbon? Then you worked it in your field. Maybe in that case it should be Asr. That's why I need all three. So, okay. Rashi. Mm-hmm. Rashi says, Shabbos or Klai Beim. Sorry, threw that in. Gufa. Omer Abid Omer why? Because he's saying that it's not in the animal. It's this is the goof right. Yeah, but he's working his goof. He's working his goof. Okay. Goof Amar Rabbi Yomer Rav. Niach Oleo Uda Shel Sakim Sula. If you take a paraduma, yesterday I said over the story for you guys because you weren't here. I'll say it real quickly. In the Medrash it says that a guy was about to do a deal with the Chachamim and sell a paraduma. It's worth millions. There's a guy in New York a non-religious Jew who had a paraduma, the, the Rabbanim came, they saw Mamish completely red, and no, no two hairs like this, and no oil, and they wanted to buy from him for a million dollars or something. And he wouldn't sell it. He said, oh, I'm selling him from Shiach. Fine. So whatever the price is, let's call it two million dollars, a million dollars. It, it, there's no shear because it's, it only comes once every, I don't know how many years. So he went, he decided to get the Chachamim, and he put something on it, and he had it run around overnight. And then he was going to do a trick. He was going to take the money and, tell Chacham, and not tell Chacham about it. And here, he ruined it. It's like, it's like the Gaita putting in a little milk into the chum. Nobody knows about it. She knows about it. She laughs the whole Shabbos how the Yidin are eating treif. That's what the guy wanted to do. And Chacham came in the morning and he saw that there's two hairs on the back of the neck that stand up when it's a paraduma. 
and they were laying down. And they said, you did something overnight, we don't know what, but it's, we're not buying this. Shalom. So, what if you put on the paraduma a bunch of sacks, empty sacks, psula, it makes a puzzle. Since it says in the puzzle, the word Meshicha, so it has to pull it. Meisvei, oil, ain't li eloi, shavadis menayin. Had I know anything else besides the yoke, like schlepping, I'm just gonna have a choymer. Umay eglo, shei mum poisel ba, shavadis poisel ba. When it comes to eglo arufo, mum doesn't do anything. A hole in the ear is not a problem. But if you work it, it's possible, paro, shei mum poisel ba. So para duma, that if it has a hole in the ear, you can't use it a para duma, and it did shavadis poisel ba. So certainly if you put something on its back, it's no good. Let's say you have an answer. So I'll tell you, never can oil, the never allow an oil. And the Gemara is going to say, what answer do you have? But it says, by paradum the word oil. And it says, by egg, larufa, oil, malon, shara, avoidos, poises, ba, afkan, shara, avoidos, pois, lois. Mayim, nash, chaloy, ma. What do you want to answer? We had this already. You'll say that egg is different because it's something chamor. It could only be less than a year old. So first of all, I'll tell you, Nami, Kaj, Mi, Chichu, Shumun, Pais, Lo, Ba'am, Ve'na, Ve'na, Pais, Lo, Ba'am. And, oh, another answer, I'll say that, well, you, you, you bring me a Kav HaChemer, but look, Kachim will prove your Kav HaChemer wrong. Here I have a Kachim, that Mum ruins it, a whole near is no good, but Avayda doesn't pass. So what are you, what are you telling me, that a, that a Paraduma, that Avayda should pass? I prove from Kachim that it doesn't pass. Anyway, never can, oh, never can, oh, no, that's what the Gemara says, that's why I have Xeri Shal Malal, and Shara Avayda, Afkan, Shara Avayda, Okay, and from the exact source that he came from the Eglah roof, and this is a kasha. Why is this a kasha? Because Raf said that you don't need to, you don't need to carry it. You just put the bags on top of the para, and she becomes puzzled. Over here, it says that just that right. It has to. You have to be moishach. Says the Gemara. No, Rav is going to say, I have somebody to support me. That even if you just put a bunch of heavy stuff on a paraduma, it becomes possible on the spot. Rashi just points out here, it's just the, the way the, the Pasuk is said. It says, it should have said, Loy Allah oil aleha. The oil should have been first. <coughs> okay, fine. It's a deal in the words. M K Matam Loy Mar Ol. Ol Poiso Be Mishasa Voida Be Inshaloy Mishasa Voida. When it comes to the yoke, it it passes. Mishasa Voida and Shaloy Mishasa Voida. Shav Voida Saint Poisos Ella Mishasa Voida. In other words, a Shasa Voida means you have to have in, intent. To work it, so a yoke. If you put a yoke on the animal, you don't have to have then. You don't have to have intent. Oh, I want to work it. You just put it on; it ruins it. But other avodos, you have to say, "Oh, I wanted to schlep this bag," and then it becomes possible. If you don't do that, it's not it doesn't pass. Oil You don't have to have kavana. You have to have kavana. Oh, here's Noam's question, sort of. We have Ashelah Yubaba. There's no Avaidah done to it. It doesn't say what kind of Avaidah. So that's a Klal. Just to remind the Olam, we had a great sugi of Klal Pratu Klal. And over there, Yoshi drew this. So I'll just, to remind the Olam. Klal means get me anything to eat. And then Prat says, very, very specific. I don't want everything. I just want a steak. And then if you add another Klal, so it's get me... Anything to eat, not just a steak, anything. So over here also, says the Gemara. Asher, uh, where am I? Veima, asher lo ubad ba. Veima, asher lo ubad ba. No, yeah. No, uh, asher lo ubad ba is klal. Yeah. All is prat. All is very, very specific. Only this type of work, which is a yoke. It's also in Shlishish and Mizrash, I told you in So it has to be just the yoke, and that's it. A bunch of bags, empty plastic bags on its back, is not going to ruin it. Oilin, Midachin Eloi, says the Gemara, no. Asher, Ribuyu, so it's a cloud, proud of cloud. Oro, Vavo, Boy, Menei, Ribuyu, Echanon. 
Oh, that's why. So I was reading the wrong thing. So where am I? Let's go back. <laughs> there is no so ten lines for that. No, that. Oh, Ema, Shalil, Cloud. Oh, Prat, Cloud Prat, Ema, Cloud, Elamash, Prat, or Lead me the Hindu Lord. I shall be fine. But tiny Nami, the same thing we learned. Gabi Eglo Kia Gavno by Eglo Ruva. Oil, Ainly Elo, Oil, Shara Vis Menayin, Tamloy Marshall, Ubad, Bo, Miko Moko, Imke, Matamalim, all, all poison, Bem Shasa Voido, Bem Shalis Bishasa Voido, whether you have Kavono or not Kavono, Shavoid the same poison, Elo, Bishasa Voido. Vemo, I shall Ubad Bo, Klal, Oil Prat. Klal Prat in the Klal Master of Prat that we said a second ago. Oil in Midachin Eloi. Asher Ribu Yehu. Okay, so we had the same thing by Eglo, same thing by Par. Omer Abavo. Boy, my name is Rabbi Yochanan. Meshich has all become when the Torah says by Egla Rufo, the, the, not, it's not enough to put the oil on it. Let me see if I can find it here real quickly. Uh, uh. I said, uh, what? Omer Abavo. Boy, my name is Rabbi Yochanan. So over here, here's the Pasuk again. This is the Pasuk by Egla Rufa. It says, Asher lo'i ubad ba, asher lo'i moshcha ba'al. It's not enough to put the yoke on the Egla Rufa to ruin it. You have to pull it with the yoke. How much are you pulling it? Usually Dalad Amis, whatever. Says the Gemara. Omelei kimeloi al. The size of a yoke. Ibailu, what does that mean? Lo arkai, oile rachbai. So here you have a picture in case you don't know what that means. Here. Here's a yoke. So does he mean the length of the yoke or the width of the yoke? Says the Gemara. Omerlu, Amur Rabbanon Rabbi Yaakov Shmei, his name is Rabbi Yaakov. I heard from Yochan himself, Meshich HaSol, the Rochboi, to the width. And how much is that? Tefach. Oh, so if you know that it's a Tefach, why are you telling me it's the width of a yoke? And, and then you ask me another question. How much is that? Just say straight out, a Tefach. Hakam Ashulon, Shurdol Tefach Havi. If somebody buys a yoke, you should know that it's a tevach. Don't give him the flimsy one from China that's a half a tevach. When he says, I'm buying a yoke, he means the real deal, a full tevach. Why do we bring Egel Arufa in the valley? Listen to this, Rabbi Isai. It's amazing. What happens when you kill somebody? Somebody kills somebody. What, 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 what happened? But what did he do? Huh? His lineage. He stopped him. He doesn't have diarists. No, and what if he killed a 95 year old? He's not going to have diarists anyways. So what did he do? He still Chayav Misa. Oh, so it must be more than that. What did he do? He stopped his mitzvahs. His, he took away his opportunity to be Oyved Hashem. That is the big thing here, and that's an amazing thing in this Gemara. Take something, a one-year-old calf who can't have children, and, 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 and kill it in a, in a dry valley where you can't grow anything. And On the person that they didn't allow him to have offspring, my parents, even though he a pure to have children, and if a person physically can't have children, so you don't do Egel Arufa, Ella Mitzvah is big, big Yisoyed. And when a person kills somebody else, what he's taking from him is the Torah Mitzvah, Rabbi Yisai. Huh? Everybody does Mitzvahs. Everybody does Mitzvahs. There's a little chance at a little this. What if he wants to do Tshuva? What if this? Yep. Yeah. What does Esau mean? Esau means more kosher. It's hard. Tana Rabbanu Menayin Leisin Shul Kosher. How do I know that Esau means a tough land? Shenemar that from involved in base. Esau Meshavecha of a sim basela kinecha. Esau is where you dwell, and it's talking about a cella, a rock by Greg Haber for brachat over and also brios from my entire family rebelli and everyone learned it out. Boimer Shimu Harim Sri Hashem by Son of Moisdei Aretz. Achir Moimrim Menayin Leisin Shul Yashon. How do I know? And some say, how do you know that it's the uh, it's the original dirt. From forever like that. It didn't, the dirt didn't fly in from somewhere else in a, in a storm. Over here you see the picture of the cleaver. It's a very, very, you know, like the butchers use, right, Benny? The very wide thing. It breaks bones and everything. 
So you do the arifa with the cleaver from the back of its neck. My taima, go my arifa, arifa, mechatas oif. Just like chatas oif, it says, you do, uh, you do with your thumb, you break the back of its neck as so. Mela, egla arufa, which is the same lotion of arifa, also from the back. And you can now let it plant anything in that place of the egla arufa, in that valley. So machloikis l'sha'avar. It's talking about that it, ne- it was never planted. You have to find the place to do the the arifa in a place that they never planted anything there on some stones from sheishis meibreishis. Never Rabbi Yeshaya. Rabbi Yeshaya. Rabbi Yeshaya means I don't care what happened until this day, but from here on out you can't plant there. Rabbi Amar lahabot the kulam loy pligi the civil Israel. Everybody agrees that from here on out you're not allowed to plant. He pligi l'sha'avar. Doesn't doesn't matter if they planted there once upon a time. Rabbi Shaya, Rabbi Yishia, Savar, Mich Siv, Veloyu Ubad. It doesn't say in the in the past. Yeah, Veloyu Divrei L'Shavar, Veloyu Ubad in the future. Veloyu Ubad from here. It doesn't say in the future. So mainly we're talking about the past. Yonis on Mich Siv Asheloy Nevad. It doesn't say Asheloy Nevad. So Meila it means in the future. Rabbi Yishia, Rabbi Yishia. Asher is talking about the, which is. Which is means we're talking about the land. We're not talking about what you should do. The land right now is, has a certain status, meaning that it wasn't planted on. Okay. What could you do? Anything that has nothing to do with the soil. How do you know other types of work in the dirt? Anything that, that you have to move the dirt around, build something, whatever it is, in the dirt, you're not allowed to do it. Why does it say planting? Anything, just dirt. Just like planting, you have to move the dirt. Of course, you have to move the dirt. You're just going to use the land on top. You're going to make a, a, a car wash. You're going to do things that are, have nothing to do with the ground that you could do. It says, don't do any work. Then it says, don't plant. So it's a klal prat. Klal prat, klal prat. says, only to do with planting, but building homes, for instance, you're allowed to. No, everything that has to do with moving the Everything that has to do with moving the ground. That's one of the mitzvahs. It's interesting in in in, in Achalais and the Sefer. He has a whole shtickle over here. You don't need a revias. Could you use meperos? It's halach in the Torah. You have to wash. They have to wash your hands. Torah baron. V'chol zikno ir ahi akrivim l'chol yuchasis idem al ha eglo harufa banocha. Shein tam aloyma ha harufa. Already says we're talking about the eglo harufa. What's ha harufa? Madam aloyma har ha harufa. Al mokrim arifasa shel eglo. Where do they wash their hands? Right there where they did that reef of the eggla. In other words, if they moved the, 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 the animal for whatever reason, uh, you know, a bunch of wolves were coming and they had to get rid of this and they moved it over there. No, you do it in the makayim where that reef happened. And they say these psukim. Why do I have to say we didn't murder him? Of course, these are, you're talking about the gadol adar. We didn't notice him and tell him to leave without food. And then he would get hungry and he would attack a person and that person in self-defense killed him. And we didn't just let him go. We, if we knew about him, we would have accompanied him out of town and it would have helped him not get murdered. Why? Why? If a person has a guest and we see that he won't accompany him, whatever the shear is, so Bezdin could force him to, to do Levi. I don't know, people are makbid on it today. I know my family were makbid at Levi. Somebody comes to the house, you walk him to the door, Dalamis, whatever. Huh? Dalamis. Now, what if the guy says, I don't know, stop, 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 it's okay, it's okay. What, what, what do you do then? No. So I don't know exactly what Allah is. I didn't have time to look it up, but no, it's the action. 
the, the schar of accompanying somebody has no shear, right? We say it every day. Levaya doesn't mean a levaya, it means to accompany somebody. Shenemar. The Klaiso was trying to get into the city over there and they couldn't find the door. So they decided, they put the Shoyrim there, they decided, let's see, when somebody comes out of the city, we'll grab him, find out where the door is. And obviously they're going to go in there and murder everybody. So they see a person, they say, no, how do you get in? He says, look, there's a tree, there's a hazelnut tree, and then there's a cave. In, it's not even a door. You have to go into the cave. It's a secret passage to get in. Okay. So he actually showed him how to get in. So the, they did what we call Akar Satayv. The basic, it's common sense Akar Satayv. He showed them how to get into the city. They killed everybody in the city. When they were trying to do Kibbutz Shahar, they were trying to get every single place in Eretz Yisrael. And over here, with this person, not only did they not kill him, they didn't kill him, they didn't kill his family for all the generations. He built a city called Luz. They have good. They have a lot of work over there. They 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 uh, died the treles. He It didn't. Uh, it wasn't uh, subject to, to Sancherev. They couldn't destroy it. Nobody dies there. This is interesting. A guy lived 962 years. He's like, you know what? I had enough of this life. Let me, let me die. But you can't die. You're in Luz. You step outside. You step outside. Car comes, hits you. Shalom Yisrael. Fine. No. Okay, I guess. He doesn't have the shmir of the thing. These are going. These are all going. I do live there. No, that's isn't that mer- that's yeah, committing suicide. That's you're not allowed. <laughs> that you can't walk out. You can't live forever. Let's live forever, right? Hello, it's very kavachaymer. Umakna nizeh shloidi be He didn't even say a word. He just motioned to them. Velayach beraglov. He didn't walk. I'm not solo. I'm not so if kol adoyrois. Misho es levay beraglov. Had he accompanied them? Alachis kama v'kama. B'meherem. How was it? How did he show him where the door is? The bottom line is like, you know, people speak sometimes Lashon Hara. They figure like, if they go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, like that guy over there, uh-huh. So they're big tzaddik, they didn't do Lashon Hara. <laughs> you just said the whole story. It says, right? Oh, he, he, he told him exactly where the door is. He didn't say it with his mouth. He said, uh-huh, 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 the big tree? Uh-huh. And then they went in, they killed everybody. Oh, grace of tzaddik. He didn't say it. Lamaise didn't say it. He killed this whole city. Bottom line, why did he do it? Because I once heard from uh, Rabbi Yaakov's son that they, they weren't snitches. They didn't say uh, her, Rachav also. How, how did she go against her own people? They knew the MS. They saw what, what Klaish was all about. They saw Christians. So they, they figured they're doing it for Laman Hashem. Okay, fine. Something like that. So the Gemara, Omer Rabbi Shovin Levi, Hamal, Vader Rabbi Enloy, Levoya, Yasi Batoira, a person who's, who's on the way. And Nobody accompanied him. Now he's in Saras because the company, when you accompany a person, not the thought, you hear Mati, not the thought. When you accompany somebody, you give him a, a certain protection. That accompany. So, he doesn't have that. What should he do? The Torah is the Levoya. The Torah, Haim is the Torah. Rabbi Yitzchak Zibbushtein asked Rabbi Yitzchak, I like this question. He goes, what do you mean he should be Isaac Batayra? Everybody that walks is Isaac Batayra. What are you doing? What are you watching Netflix when you're walking? You're supposed to be learning. A normal person, when he walks, he's learning. So if he doesn't have a vaya, then he should learn. Mashman that typically you don't, you're not supposed to learn. You're supposed to learn when you walk. So Rabbi Yashav answered him, we're talking about, you're right, very good kasha, talking about a guy that has a tour not to learn because he's Isaac mitzvah or something else, but now because he needs this protection, he should drop all the other mitzvahs and learn. <coughs> I, like the, I like the kasha even more than the terrence. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, 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 very good. Yeah, I still have a ral. The ral says that when, when you walk him out, you're telling Hashem, you're basically asking Hashem to protect him because he's not by himself, we're with him. Okay. Bomber Rabbi Shua ben Levi. I didn't say it well. Huh? For for the time that we have. 
another thing. Because Paroi accompanied Avram four steps. all of And he had brought people also. I saw a cute chat from the son of Smichas Chachmas, something like that. He said, I don't understand. Nebuchadnezzar, on the schar that he walked, he accompanied Hashem four steps, he got to rule 70 years. So how come Pari got 400? It's not fair. The, the math doesn't add up. They both walked four steps. How come Nebuchadnezzar got 70 and Pari got 400, 210? So he says, because Pari was a midget. So in order for him to get to the four steps, he had to walk four times the amount. <laughs> he was a, sorry, wrong word. He was, he was vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. What, he was a tefach. I don't know, how, how tall was he? <laughs> He's a hamma. It's a good You laugh. That's the litzonus for today. That's the joke for today. Chas <laughs> shalom. My before she's safer. The son of... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Burn. <laughs> okay. Kasha. That's what happens when you have time in the chacham in the shir. It's the son of Smichas Chachma. Um, who who did you say? Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Okay. Catch it. Nebuchadnezzar was shorter. He was a tefak, no? They were both pretty short. All right. We have to get the vart back tomorrow. We'll have Nubshad. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Somebody else. Okay. Maybe the Gemara doesn't say that. We're going to say someone. Okay. Or maybe then he was taller and then he got shorter no, from the no, claw. No. no. He was always short. Okay. Okay. Where am I? I'm Rabbi the Rav. I'm Rabbi the Rav. I'm Rabbi the Rav. I'm Rabbi the Rav. I'm Rabbi the If you accompany him four Amos, he won't have any damage. Ravina says the Gemara story. Alva the Rav. He did accompany him. Something bad was supposed to happen to him, and because of the Levaya, he was saved. Here's a picture of, ooh, not this one, sorry. Here. Ibur Shilir is the, you have a city, and then you have a house that's within 70 hours and two thirds, that's Ibur Shilir. So you start, you go from that point. So, Arav. Uh, a rather Talmud Adi Bur Shalir. If you, yeah, there's a mitzvah. The mitzvah says, "Chaver lechaver at Chum Shabbos." A friend to a friend, two thousand amal. Talmud Larav, Now the Talmud for the Rebbe, Ainly Shir. The Kama. What does it mean, Ainly Shir? What you have to go uh, to America? Omer Asheshes Ad Parso. Parso is eight thousand amas, which is like almost two miles, or a mile and a half. Let's say. La Martin El Larav Shenu Muvak. That's a regular Rebbe. A Rabbi Muvag, if you, he's, your, he's your only Rebbe. You learn from Torah day and night. Shloy Shep Ar 24,000 Amo. Like three miles, let's say. Four miles. Rav Kahana Alvei, Rav Shimi Barashi, Mepum Narad, Beit Sinyasa, the Bavel. There's a place called Sinyasa. Kimato Hasam, Ormer Lei. Ah! Last night I was in Yerushalayim. Maise Shoyam, I'm thinking now. I heard two guys talking in Yiddish. And the one guy says, how do you say dates in Yiddish? And he didn't know. And the other guy said, anybody know how to say it in Yiddish? He said the word. And, and then he goes, and so the Yerushalmi tells the other guy, I see, he says in Yiddish, I see this guy didn't grow up in a Yiddish home. How does he not know how to say dates in, y- in Yiddish? He might have didn't grow up in a Yiddish home. Huh? Title, that's it. Title, a title poem. Title poem. No, how do, how, do, how do we not know that? Title poem. Yeah, very good. So that's why I heard that myself. I passed by the guy in Shul and I heard him say that because of this. You should have turned around and said it yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that they say that these dates, the Bavavu, Mishnei Adam, Marishan is new? They hear from other Marishan's time. Oh, you just reminded me something. It's in a land that nobody ever walked by it. Nobody ever built a house there. If nobody ever passed by, so how do you build something there? Land that that other Marishan said this will be inhabited, then people will live there. What's the Gemara saying? That if other Marishan said that there should be title bombs right here in this place, there'll be title bombs, and that's what happened in Bavel. Not that it's from the time of other Marishan. 
but it's because of Adam Rishon, he says. You, you, you misunderstood. Adam Rishon said at Tzivoy, there should be date trees over here. This date trees in Babel. They have pretty good dates there. I think one of the best in the world are from Iran, no? Iraq. Yeah. Iraq, yeah. Okay, Iran, but uh, same thing. Yeah. Not the same. Not the same thing. Same garbage. Rav Mordechai, Alvele Rav Ashi, Megroino, Ve'ad Be'i Kepe, Ve'amri Lo, Ad Be'i Duro. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's a very long way. Omer, Rav Yochum, Meshum, Rav Meir. Kol Shein, Rilavo, Mislavo. Oh, so here's the thing. If you tell a person, don't be Malava me, I don't need you. Do, do, nah, I don't want to be Matriach you. No good. Don't do that. Kilu Shoifech Dabim says, if you're killing Shilmala Yivu, Anchi Yirichu Lelisha. If they would accompany the Lisha outside of the city, like Gira Dubim and Tinoikos, he wouldn't have had the children or the youngsters, whoever they are, get killed. What happened? Shenem Avriyal Mishon Beis El, Vuoy Lebederech Unarim Ketanim Yotzim Anir Vais Kalsu Boy. When he left the city, they didn't realize that he's a Alisha, the Navi, and they started making fun of him. Go away, you bald man. Go away, bald man. Yeah. Mamish like that, taking a picture of you with the baldness and putting it, planting it on your porch. That's Mamish what they did over here. She cracked the lane with what happened was he took the, 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 the water that was not drinkable and he made it drinkable. So they're very upset because they made all their parnasa on fresh water. You took away our parnasa. So they called them names. What they didn't realize is like everything else, uh, parnasa comes and goes. You think that he plugged, um, you know, he ruined your parnasa here, you're going to get 10 times more from some place else, but they made fun of him. And therefore, had they accompanied him out of the city, these Nar would have realized, wait a minute, he's a Hushva guy, he's, he's, he's Alicia. They wouldn't have made fun of him, they would have saved their lives. Why did he kill them? Because they were, they were making fun of a Navi. Navi has to stick up for, for, for Akash Baruch, not for his own thing. What, what, they were little kids, seven year olds. They were empty from mitzvahs. They didn't have emuna. Because they thought that he took away their pranasa. You have to believe in a Kaddish Baruch They 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 they, they, they acted like Tadim. Ask him Rabbi Yosef. Maybe that's not what it means. Maybe that's where they lived. What it means is she came from a place called Nar. So Mela over here also, maybe they came from, maybe it doesn't mean Nar, that they acted foolishly, maybe it means that they came from this place. Also, it says in Mephorish, that it happened in Yerichai. He turned around, he saw them, and he cursed them in Hashem's name. He stared at them. He didn't even have to, he didn't have to curse them. He just looked at them with a, a gaze of a Navi, and that was it. They got destroyed. They're just looking by Chacham. It causes either to become poor or death. What he saw, he had a vision. He saw that all these people, they came from a Psula, that their mothers got pregnant. This is the picture of a Bloiris. It means... Uh, what, what you see over there, the black thing is, is three fingers by three fingers, but basically the guy's head is completely shaved and he has a ponytail on the back. Yeah, a lot of people, the Hasidim think blurs is in the front. Okay, whatever. We'll talk about it a different time. I think that, that in, in Lashon Kaddish, that in the Hebrew, that the Mishnah Buddha talks about blurs, tefillin, the whole thing. I think one of the Rebbes, the Belzerov, went to the, to, to the Chavetz Chaim and said, how come you don't make a big macha on all the Litvaks that they have long hair in the front? He says, I'm... You, Taka, you could be busy with the Bloyers. I'm busy with Chil Shabbos. And my people are being Chil Shabbos left and right. I'm, I'm dealing with Shabbos. That's the Maisa with them, supposedly. That's how the Belzer say the Maisa. The Litvaks say the Maisa a little different. Okay. He noticed that they don't have any mitzvahs at all. And that's why he was able to curse them and kill them. Maybe the next generation would have Omer Lazar, Lebom, Vele Bizaron, Atsaif Kaladaris. He saw that none of them had any continuation to Yiddish guide. He killed them. Raboisai, have a wonderful day.